Hi everyone, my name is Stu Barwick and I am from Modular Robotics. I'm here today to show you a quick overview of Cubelet's Flash and how to reprogram a Cubelet using it. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to get started. Uh, what you need to do is make sure that you're connected with and paired with your Bluetooth Cubelet. So just head on into your system preferences uh, and once you see your Cubelet pop up, pair with it. Uh, next, you'll need to open the Cubelet's Flash window. Uh, this is how we finalize our connection to our cubelet. Uh, just select that same cubelet, hit continue, and wait for it to pair. Once it pairs, you'll see this thing that we call the block map. Uh, it's a series of the cubes in your robot. I have a particularly complex robot connected right now. Uh, and what you can do is click on it to see various block informations, uh, things like block type, what uh, applications it's running, and here I have the block ID. Now I want to use my block ID inside of this code I'm writing, so I'm just going to copy and paste that in. I actually need two, so I'm going to do that two times for this particular program. Again, pasting it into my program. I want to save that program, and I'm just going to get that out of the way. Okay, now what I want to do is select which block I want to flash that program to. In this case, I need this drive cubelet over here. I'm gonna go grab my C file and then I'll just drop it into this handy little window here. Uh, from here, it will compile the code uh, and then proceed to flash that program onto my cubelet. After I'm done playing, should I ever need to uh, reprogram my cubelet or just turn it back into the factory default, uh, you can use the same method, but instead of dragging in a new program, just click Restore Default Firmware uh, to reprogram your Cubelet back to its original settings. And that is how you reprogram a Cubelet using Cubelet's Flash. Thanks for watching.